The weapon assembly system in Lies of P is incredible and it's one of the reasons why I love this game so much. But which weapon combinations are the best? Welcome back everyone, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today we are breaking down the absolute best blade and handle combinations in Lies of P. This weapon list is going to focus specifically on custom weapons, which means I'm not going to be covering the boss weapons in this video. I have over 100 hours played in this game, I'm currently on my third playthrough, and I have tried every single weapon combination in the game. This is my list for the top 5 best weapon combinations in Lies of P. The first weapon combination on the list has to be one of the most well-rounded weapons in the entire game, the big pipe wrench head and the crop police baton handle. Now at first glance this weapon may seem a little underwhelming but it's actually one of the most powerful weapon combos. For starters the crop police baton handle has decent scaling for motivity and when you apply a motivity crank you can achieve A tier scaling. The big pipe wrench head has one of the highest damage outputs in the entire game. Combining these two together creates a lightweight weapon that offers insane damage potential. This weapon combo is perfect for anyone that wants a hard hitting weapon early in the game that isn't too heavy. One thing you will immediately notice is the lack of range, but the power and speed of the attacks makes up for it. You also get almost 74 damage reduction rate while guarding, which is insanely high for a weapon this small and this light. Another reason why this weapon is so good is thanks to the Strike Chance and Patient Smash Fable Art combination. Activating the Strike Chance Fable Art on the Crop Police Baton handle will temporarily increase your attack for the next hit. This works extremely well because it increases the damage of your Patient Smash Fable Art on the Big Pipe Wrench Head, making it even deadlier against your enemies. Patient Smash is a very powerful Fable Art that cannot be interrupted, and it's the main reason why the Big Pipe Wrench Head is so good. Your most effective attack with this weapon is going to be your Charged Heavy. With the right amount of distance and timing, you can spam this attack on your enemies which crushes their posture and opens more opportunities for fatal strikes. The second weapon combination on the list is the Bone Cutting Saw Blade and the Brand Handle Curve Sword Handle. The Curve Sword Handle scales evenly with motivity and technique, so depending on your build, you may prioritize one over the other. This weapon offers moderate speed for your light and heavy attacks, impressive range thanks to the attack patterns and length of the saw blade, and it also provides two distinct fable arts which can be used differently depending on the combat scenario. The Brandle Curve Sword Handle comes with a fable art called Furious Slash. This ability allows you to quickly slash enemies in front of you multiple times. To make this fable art even stronger, you can hold down the attack button for as long as you want, which triggers a stronger finisher attack at the end of the animation to help you mow down your enemies. The third weapon combination on the list is actually one of the best weapon combos for an advanced build. The Salamander Dagger Blade and the Acid Crystal Spear Handle. This fire damage setup is able to to inflict impressive amounts of burn damage on enemies who are vulnerable. When combined with the Acid Crystal Spear Handle, you'll gain access to the Single Stab Fable Art which unlocks the ability to stab your enemies quickly from range. This handle works amazing with the dagger because it adds a range to a weapon that's typically meant for up close and personal fights. The Acid Crystal Blade Handle offers A tier scaling for advance, making it the perfect choice for a true advanced build. The Salamander Dagger Blade has a Fable Art called Ignite which greatly increases fire attack power temporarily, meaning your burn buildup will be faster and will also deal more damage. The Acidic Crystal Spear has the Single Stab Fable Art which allows you to gather your strength for a big forward piercing strike which actually deals a ton of damage. This weapon is great because it offers very fast attacks, high fire damage, and really good range thanks to the handle. The fourth weapon combo on the list is one of my all time favorites and it's probably the one I use the most. The Live Puppets Axe Blade and the Booster Glaive Handle. This combo is so versatile. The speed, range, damage is all there. The Booster Glaive Handle is an amazing choice for technique builds thanks to the A tier scaling. It also has one of the best charged heavies in the game because of the range and damage that it provides. After you charge a heavy attack, you can execute a powerful strike that will thrust you forward towards your enemies, increasing your chances of landing the attack. The Patient Slash Fable Art on the Booster Glaive Handle is even better. This powerful attack has the ability to hit all enemies around you and can also be charged to trigger a stronger attack. Pair this with the Killer Attack Fable Art on the Live Puppet's Axe Blade and you can execute another faster and more lethal attack that deals heavy damage to your enemies. I used this weapon for my entire New Game Plus playthrough and it made everything a breeze. The weapon was effective against all 
all enemies and all bosses. And lastly, a weapon combination which offers high electric attack power and range. The electric coil stick head and the electric coil handle. Perfect for anyone that wants to make an advanced build. The fable art on the electric coil head is called Generate, which greatly increases electric blitz attack power. This fable art is very powerful and doesn't require too much fable charge. You can actually find this weapon very early in the game and use it for your entire playthrough. When you pair the Generate fable art with Rush Smash, it creates a powerful ranged attack that deals tons of posture damage and applies electric shock to your enemies. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite Lies of P weapon combo is and why. Thank you all so much for being here. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Thank you. And if you want to see more Lies of P videos and future action RPG videos coming soon, don't forget to subscribe and join the family.